Welcome to Thought Song. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. Yay! I am Woo. Brett, the first survivor of the Yellow Jacket incident, Hanrahan. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you said first survivor, and I was like, whoa, 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 and then you said that, and I was like, oh, okay. That's right, there was a Yellow Jacket in Oof. in the Fox Den <laughs> that we usually, we haven't recorded in since the summer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, last we, time we were in it, we were, we were cold in it. We only use it when my mom is home. Yeah. <laughs> a for, very adult sentence for a lot of reasons. <laughs> from some We're all year adults old. above the age of 20. Hi, yes, I'm 23 and I have an associate's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have to record in the shed by my house when my mom's home. So she doesn't so hear I don't me. embarrass so myself. she doesn't hear me say profanities. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am. Is that, was that part of your name? Oh, no. Oh, who are you? I got to plug in my headphones. They beeped at me saying they were dying. Okay, there we go. I'm Samuel working very hard on a D&D campaign for his friends, Risley. All right. Oh, God, my foot's fucking asleep. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that, there she is. That my title. fucking asleep, Haskins. Yeah. No, I'm fucking... Uh... Oof. Hey, I got famous from a Hot Topic furry drawing. I'm Simon oh, yeah. Haskins, and I'm also the second survivor of the <laughs> Yellow, Yellow Jacket, Jacket incident. incident of 2018. Of August 2018. Can we talk about that for, like, can we dedicate, like, two minutes to that real quick? Yeah. yeah. That was there we terrifying. Were. That was the scariest <laughs> fucking shit ever. <laughs> we got all set up. All the mics were plugged in. The earphones were plugged in. The garage band was ready to go. And then just out of nowhere, this yellow jacket like popped up, like in front of our faces, like f- five feet from our head. Closer. I would say. Closer. Closer. Like, hey, hey, you know what this reminds me of? What? Yesterday was the one year anniversary of the Wasp Battle of the Lake House. Oh, oh my God. You know what? That's probably what it was. Wow. That was like their father or something. It was their son. It was their son. Who grew up and found so, us. So for background... Um, Brett, Cyan, M, and I went to the lake house la- to a lake house last year, and uh, we went down to the docks and found that there was a huge wasp hive. Yep. So Brett and I grabbed t- four cans of Raid so we could both <laughs> dual wield, <laughs> and then we. <laughs> Sam, Sam like got right up close and personal with the wasps and he sprayed them and then he jumped in the water <laughs> with the wasp spray. And as, as I jumped in, as I, my feet left the docks and ascended to the air, Brett screamed, no, don't jump in too little, too late. <laughs> I, I knew he was going to jump in, but I didn't expect him to bring the cans with him. I was worried that they were like going to be defective after that like they were only gonna shoot water or something and so we were like okay so i was like i don't think i got them all i'm gonna do it again i'm like great this time we we repeated that process two more times at least and he jumped in with the cans every single time (laughs) and em and i stood on the other side of the bridge and watched (laughs) and then we had a lovely time after that it was really it was a really fun time i mean there were a lot of big spiders yeah. And it was scary when it was at night and they would come out. Yeah. yeah. It kind of sucks my family selling it because then we can't go to it. We've well, got we time. can still go to it. Oh, no. It's it's on open house now. No one's allowed there. I don't care. It's open house. <laughs> Everyone's allowed there. <laughs> it's actually the opposite of no one's allowed, Sam. We can just do a tour for like five days like we did. Also, when someone buys it, we could just go there. And, and just like, uh, use it. Yeah, this used to be mine. It's uh, still Rizzle is. Lakey. Um, yeah, yeah we're Rizzle on Lakey. Rizzle Lakey. Here's a photo of me in this house. <laughs> anyway, uh, the yellow jacket appeared, and Sign and I were trapped in the corner of this six by six foot room. <laughs> and it was just guarding the door, and we were standing there, and like, I'm screaming. I have to keep my eyes on the wasp to make sure it doesn't come after me, but all the wires in the. Oh shit. All the wires were all tangled <laughs> everywhere, and we didn't have anything to throw at it or distract it. We just kept wanting to push it, <laughs> but like, push God, it. just push it away. Yeah, <laughs> we were just, and in the screaming, I, I had one flicker of my brain, just like the adrenaline like hit, 
and it was like, what's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to die here or you're going to run. Just run. <laughs> so I just, like, so screaming, I just opened the door and sprinted. <laughs> Which left me trapped with the open door against me in the, in the yellow jacket. Cyan, I but, seriously think your fight or flight reflexes kicked in. Holy shit. <laughs> Like, I know everyone jump. Like everyone jokes, like, "Oh man, my fight or flight kick, kicked in." Yours legitimately like clicked. And they you literally, bolted. it was literally fight or flight. Like I felt yeah. it. It was like I was sitting there in fear, and then like suddenly something clicked, and I was just like, "Go!" <laughs> <laughs> so that yellow Cyanic, jacket was leaving no opening. Yeah, that yellow jacket was right up on like forces known to man. <laughs> it was just right up on me. Anyway, we are we survived. After a couple of attempts, we got everything out of the cabin. Now we're at Science House. Yep. And we're ready to go on to our first segment. Well, actually, I would like to also explain my nickname for the day, which <laughs> okay. I mentioned as this well. This is just going to be one of those 40-minute episodes. Yeah. You know, it's a special episode. We're in my house this time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This hot topic post is ruining my fucking life, y'all. <laughs> Every, every few minutes, I have to, like, check my phone <laughs> oh, and wipe away, me. like, six notifications. Jesus I just Sam. got another one. If you are a furry, you've probably seen this post. It's my fursona at a hot topic. And I drew it and posted it at 2 a.m. and woke up, and now I have goddamn almost a thousand followers. <laughs> so. It rose by like 400 followers in like, two days. Yeah. So, uh, Lesbian Wolf 666, go see the post for yourself. <laughs> nice. <laughs> also, please check out her. She has real art. Yeah, also, like, check out my actual art. and she Donate money. Paintings. I'm trying to move to Colorado so I can go to art school. <laughs> so if you can donate, that'll be cool. Hell yeah. Please don't. also don't pay attention to the Dr. Phil Eminem post. That is her second most popular one. <laughs> don't, don't don't look at that one. Look at my paintings, please. Just look at the oh, paintings. Oh, man. I was at, I was at a uh, Italian food restaurant called luigi's yesterday with him i know it's, i know it's like the oh, it's most like, stereotypical italian restaurant name it's like the ramen shop called naruto in new mexico <laughs> oh my god but yeah we went in there and like they had all these different like they have screens all over the place and they have one giant i'm talking like bigger like 72 inches or so it is the biggest screen in there and on it was just dr phil's face um, what was he doing like, there? Hello, like, I'm here. Like, I think, I think the fucking cable had frozen and Dr. <laughs> F- it, like, the, just, I've taken it, over the networks. Yeah, I it have was just the a frozen waves. frame of Dr. Phil and it was honestly terrifying. I am through with listening to your problems. I am now taking over this dimension. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm now taking over this Luigi's. <laughs> this Luigi's is forever in Dr. Phil's domain. And soon, the world. <laughs> Yikes. Ooh. All right, now I don't with like that. like this Dr. Phil lore we're coming up with today. That's great, because we're going to stop it right there and go on to our first segment. No, wasn't that his thought? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what if Dr. Phil invaded everything? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> yeah. What if Dr. Phil, but E.T.? And I'm talking hey, like it's no. Dr. All right, Phil. All right, what's your first? What's your, right. Go. Cut. Real quick, Next I'm time. talking like Dr. Phil. Cut. No, we're editing with this part e- out. Like, Anything you say right e- now is getting e- cut. Dr. Phil has E.T.'s body. Every, no, everything okay. you're saying right no! now is getting cut. <laughs> everything you're saying right now is getting <laughs> cut from the <laughs> <episode. laughs> Son, I think I know what your next most popular tweet is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining like Dr. Phil's head on that extending neck and it's awful. Uh, ew, ew, I have an idea for a drawing and it sucks. It's like not so much E.T.'s neck more as it is just like a Loch Ness Monster-esque neck, but it's still E.T.'s body, but like like a Ruchi Maru, you know, has, he would like come out and like his head would be like, uh, like a yeah. snake. Yeah, Dr. Phil with E.T.'s body and he's doing that. Uh, Please, I, I love Sam. It. Please, the first segment, please. <laughs> okay, okay. It's, it, the first, the thought was kind of gross, but now that I've said all that, it'll be much less gross and bearable. That's why oh, I so said it. so it was on, you were being strategic, Just by I comparison. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, 
This one comes from Daily Squared, and it was submitted to me by M. Oh. oh. Uh, Daily Squared on Facebook. It says, of all the bodily functions that could be contagious, thank God it's the yawn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> As opposed to, like, farting and burping yeah. and sneezing. Contagious sneezing. What if busting a nut was contagious? <laughs> Boy, it is if you date in the right person. <laughs> Be being an exhibitionist would turn into, like, a social movement. <laughs> it's like I'm fighting against the government. Oh, and this God. is how. And then you just like, nut in what? public and then, like, everyone, everyone. within a five-mile radius. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Just, like, one dude. Just one dude within, like, just bust the nut. And then, like, the next thing you know, it's, like, a, like ripple in a pond as all these people just across oh. the city start nutting <laughs> and like cops are on the lookout we we got a nutter he's in the middle of central square take him down take the shot oh my god it's like on tv and shit and there's like two big events like a couple years apart like it happens every now and again but there's two big ones yeah like two yeah. big like nuts like one at the pentagon <laughs> <laughs> The mass nut. Like a guy busted a nut what? in the middle of the Pentagon and like everyone working there was like, ah. One at the UN. <laughs> uh, the world's leaders all had an, a what single if, what nut. If every so often, what if every so often there was just a flash mob in like a mall to fuck with everyone where they just like three dudes Send come like, in and they bust yeah. the nut and then everyone in the mall busts a nut. If, all right. So if one person busts a nut, like everyone within like 20 feet of them will bust a nut. But then so, if they're in public, then anyone within 20 feet of those people. Yeah. But what if like yeah. three people are like back to back with each other and they bust a nut? Does that make it a 60 foot radius? It makes it more condensed. It makes it more powerful, it I think. But I don't think it. Spell. Yeah, I don't think it gets more ra radius, okay. but I think it gets more like So like well, if you're in the 20 yard radius, it will be a much more powerful nut. Yeah. And if you have a J.O. Yes. crystal, then you can get more distance. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, for sure. Depending on if how tall you have an enchantment. Charged. Yeah, a plus yeah. three armor. <laughs> but, uh, no, okay, so yawning, like, being contagious is a mental thing. You are absolutely able to overpower it. Like, if someone yawns near me, I just, like, think for a second, and then I don't yawn. But, You're so uh, powerful, Sam. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> but, uh, You're so strong. Like, but, so, I think that the more people that you add to, like, so, like you said, with the three dudes jacking it back to back and then busting a nut, yeah. I think with more people, it becomes harder and harder to resist busting the nut. Oh, oh. okay. So, there is, like, if you really think about it, if you really focus, you're like, I'm not going to bust a nut. I'm not going to bust a nut. Yeah. And it's then, like dead puppies, dead puppies, bad grandma, bad grandma. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, I, I've, that joke is weird. This whole segment has been very weird. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's good. I think we've invented a new terrorist movement. <laughs> the, the past 13 and a half minutes have been extremely weird. I think. Yeah. This might be one of our weirder episodes. Well, I'm just a weirdo, you know? I'm just a freak. Lols. Dude. What? Giraffe. Tacos. Ah. I'm so random. Ah. Invader Zim's coming back, y'all. XD Invader uh, Zim, hot topic. What up? Uh, so if you're within 20 feet and you don't actually see the nut happen, then you you aren't affected by it because it's like all mental. That's what yeah. you were saying, Sam, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. But but if there's three I'm people, I'm loving these lawn guys yeah. just blowing right next to my window. Well, again, Sam, if you didn't say anything about it, no one would have noticed. So thank you very oh, no, much. They absolutely would have. All right. No, not terrorists. Let's move on to our next segment. Yeah. Okay. What would the, real quick, real quick. What would the counter terrorists for the nut terrorists be like? Ooh. Kink shamers? That kink shamers, maybe like cock ring -ers. <laughs> Oh man. Well, it's, it's not just, just for guys of, though. It's just a bunch of dominatrixes like you can't come yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> the dominatrices. Yeah, they're just like, you are not allowed to yeah. come yet. Yeah. Like, you oh, can't shit, come. Oh, shit, that's actually... Huh. Yes. 
This thought just evolved way far, like way better than I thought it'd be. <laughs> what? Like that... I just thought we'd be like, Haha, man, pooping would be contagious, right? But nah, we took it a way better way. With a government mandated group of dominatrixes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that are around like every this mall. This is straight up something area. out of Saints Row. This is a life that. I would like to live in. This is a life <laughs> hack. This is <laughs> top ten life hacks. Number one I, will make you bust a nut, but not unless there's a dominatrix around telling you not to. Yeah, I like to Those imagine that the weird. dominatrix uniform would be like the leather suit and then like a badge that says uh, "NDD Nut Denial Dominatrix." And it's like a sheriff's badge that they wear on their leather suits. <laughs> they, they, do they like... <laughs> like a star? It's yeah, like, dude, uh, straight uh, up uh, like... Uh. <laughs> Look at here. Do you need to latex your Straight up, dude, it's like a sheriff's star that says NDD, Nut Denial Dominatrix. No, I'm saying the Dominatrix suit. You're picturing like the black shiny shit? Yeah, is that not like That's a leather latex. suit? That's latex. Oh. Yeah. A leather suit. I just imagine, like, a leather jacket and, like, <laughs> leather pants. <laughs> Shit, no. Nah. Le- no, nah, I want a dominatrix to show up in, like, a leather jacket, some, like, ripped up jeans, and then, like, a That's my girlfriend. Shirt. <laughs> no, a late- latex pants, jean jacket, jean shorts over the latex Stop. pants. Bad. Like the way you think. And then the sheriff's badge, of course. Do they have guns, too? <laughs> Like if 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 you need to, you have a license uh. to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it! Don't not! I can't help it! I can't help it! I will fucking pull the trigger! No! No! Please! I can't stop it! It's time, and then she just fucking pulls the trigger, and that's one less nut in the world. That is one less nut. All right, let's move on. All right, let's yeah. nut into the next segment. Oh, my God. It's been 18 minutes. All right, well, that's good because this one's going to go pretty quick. All right, cool. Uh, I have Dream. Yeah. This one comes from Doll on a GameSpot forum. On, on GameSpot.com. A GameSpot uh, forum? Yeah. Don't worry. It has nothing to do with video games. Huh. They say... I dreamed that a friend of mine was eating barbecue chain mail and teriyaki sauce. Barbecue, barbecue chain mail? Barbecue chain mail that was just drenched in teriyaki sauce. Okay. And so it so, seems... Yeah. Go ahead. I imagine, when I imagine this, the chain mail is all very small and connected. So it's just all Wait, very... Wait, that's it? That's the dream? Yeah, that's the dream. Oh! <laughs> it's a short dream. That nothing else really happened. That was the most important thing of notoriety. And little uh, little tiny pieces of meat are like connected together, and it doesn't seem like. Well, it seems like if they're eating it, that kind of goes against the. I'm gonna the Google barbecue chain mail. I'm sure it's out there, dude. I'm sure you can find it because we're in Texas. Barbecue chain mail. Just imagine like somebody barbecued <laughs> some armor. So uh. <laughs> I came up with nothing in terms of edible stuff, except for like pots and pans made out of chain mail. Oh, that sounds intense. <laughs> or like, one is a glove. One is like chain mail gloves, so that way you don't cut yourself while cutting, like oh. with a knife or something. Yeah. What the fuck? Well, I mean, you could just make chainmail anything. There's really. just a picture of some pies, but it's full of chainmail. Like it's got a regular pie pie crust, but it's full of chainmail. Why? Why would <laughs> that? Sounds delicious. <laughs> I guess it gives it a nice crunch. Yummy, yummy. Oh yeah, I, I'm sure it does. Uh, so, I don't know if we said this yet, but today's August eighth. Oh yeah, we have we have no. I think we've- briefly mentioned that today no. is actually it's vor no. day today's vor day no. so this no. person eating their own armor no i think to get through to their own body to eat yes someone put there's this a there's, barbecue armor there's a there. personality trait in the D- dungeons and dragons player handbook called i would rather eat my own armor than be proven wrong and it 
it gets so much better when it's barbecue yeah. armor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mix in terry well, I mean, up sauce. I mean, technically, leather armor is edible. At least the leather parts of it. You can eat leather. It's edible, but it's not enjoyable. You know? You can't, you, you're not going to like sit man, down like, this sure is my cheat is. day. <laughs> and you just start eating your meat armor. You know? Flesh. It's called flesh bread. You get, it's barbecue, Sam. You don't know what it is. All right? <laughs> you said meat armor. That's just skin. Meat can be a lot of things, Sam. It could Watch be like me ribs. go into battle with my meat armor, by which I mean I'm running at the enemy stark ass naked with nothing but my like loins hanging out and a claymore. A That's claymore. <laughs> yeah, dude, Jesus I'm going Christ. into battle. I thought I thought this was more in the chainmail esque era. Like where you have like no, an dude. axe and stuff, but you said Claymores were around the same time as axes. Claymores I, are the things that explode when you touch them, right? Brett, a claymore is a type of sword as well. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's a giant two-handed sword. It's, I believe it's similar in family to the Zweihanda, but... Uh, yeah, sure. I have in an unpopular family. opinion, and that's I think axes are cooler than swords. I, I'm not sure that's unpopular. I don't think it's unpopular, but as a lesbian, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that I like swords a little bit more. Well, yeah. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. And it's not that I'm knocking swords. Swords are very cool. No, but axes I just are like, dope. I just like axes more because, I, one, I feel they're a bit more... I like blunt weapons, and I feel like... An axe allows, or like, and stuff that like you put more force into, and I feel like an axe is closer to those lines than a sword. Yeah. Honestly, I'm more of a knife person. Fair. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm, if I'm I, a knife, I'm a knife girl for sure. But if I had to absolutely choose, I would choose like a mace or a morning star. Really, a mace? Like I said, dude, I fuck it. I am not coordinated enough to keep hitting people with like a blade but man i have the strength to bludgeon so uh, you, you think you're gonna be better with a ball hanging off a stick you think that's gonna be better for you someone who's uncoordinated <laughs> well <laughs> just flailing around said, a mace I, I, and stuff that's why i said mace morning star well, <laughs> is the flailing one Man, I, I'm well, not keeping up with my weapons, I guess. Yeah, I don't but either. No, I, I, def I definitely too, go I mace because, like, I just... I had this argument with some roommates, uh, specifically Ryan and Chris, where they were like, we should get swords to defend the apartment. And I was like, let's just get fucking baseball bats. Well, that's not as fun. Yeah. You can get swords, I, and you can be, I'll be, like, sword dudes and, like, knight no, each I, other. No, I, I'm totally on board for getting a sword. I like swords, but at the same time, I'm like... I am, if it's for actual defense, because we lived in a kind of shady part of town when we were talking about this, I was like, for actual defense, I'm going to grab a baseball bat. Because, first off, we're not, like, an actual sharpened sword costs thousands. We're, we don't have that kind of money. Second, a baseball bat, I know for a fact with one swing, I could bring it down and break a robber's arm. Right. That's more than I could do with, like, an unsharpened sword. I think, well, an unsharpened sword is going to be pretty scary. If you want to go, like, the intimidation route. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I really want to go the intimidation route, I'll put a bunch of nails through the baseball bat. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good, too. Yeah. You know what? I'm a big fan of that, too. Yeah. I like that shit. Well... Cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Sam talks about his love of bl brunt, brunt force weaponry. Yeah. Fuck guns. Guns are for cowards. I'm going to run up with a mace and beat my enemies. And we look forward to seeing it after this next segment. <laughs> All right. So I got 
Uh, yeah, I guess it's like a law. Um, so the <laughs> it's kind of a law. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's in it's it's for Colorado, as I aforementioned. Um, I will be heading there, so I eventually. So I'm I, I'm doing in a year. So I'm doing my uh, research. And it says that in Colorado, you have to get a permit to modify the weather. Oh. Uh. It then says, in some states, it's legal to perform activities that create changes in the composition or behavior of the atmosphere. Uh, all right. I Okay, so we, we got a lot of, like sorcerers in Colorado. Yeah, weather modification I is not only feel... possible, but it's actually a lucrative business. <laughs> okay, real quick, I do want to bring up the two way like the two real world ways real quick and then we go have fun. Okay. Okay, we have to we have to this is an educational podcast first and yeah. foremost. Yes, we do have okay, to my two educate. my two thoughts on this is this is a way their attempt to try and limit big businesses from leaving too much of a carbon footprint. Yes. Oh, okay. You know what? Second, That's right. It could be a type of law to kind of, I don't know, punish people for performing rain dances, which I don't think is actually a thing. I I, think it's probably the first one. I think it's, out of those two, it's definitely the first one. Yeah. I don't think the government's seen these people. The rain dances ties into the sorcerers. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I, I imagine the sorcerers are, like, concocting a potion, and then they, like, oh. blast it into the sky, and then snow falls for the next 18 months. And then Jimmy Neutron has to get his friends <laughs> to sweat and send it oh. into the sky yeah. to get the sun back. <laughs> Man, I Jimmy watched Neutron? Jimmy Neutron on Hulu yesterday. That was a... This episode sponsored by Hulu.com. <laughs> Go <laughs> Get a Hulu membership and watch Jimmy Neutron. We got Jimmy Neutron. We got... Letter Kenny. Le- we got S- Letter Kenny. We got Sleater Kenny. We got uh, Alpha Brooklyn and Omega. 99. We have like six Alpha and Omega movies. Yeah, you you know it. Hulu.com. Put in the promo code. Thought Sauna watches some great movies on this cool website for free. There's spaces between each of those words as well. And they're all capitalized. Some of them yeah. are capitalized. The ones that are supposed to be capitalized are properly cap- capitalized. Yeah. The capital and capitalization also happens randomly at every like third letter. Yeah. And that's actually uh, that's actually a puzzle to crack the code to get the real coupon code for Hulu and that'll our, get you $3 uh, off the first month. It's also part of our ARG which we mentioned before and you guys still haven't cracked. Still haven't cracked, y'all. God. It's like y'all aren't even trying. It's like you're not even trying to look into the deeper lore of this show. Yeah. It's like you don't even care you're that even we're trying, trying to... to build something about this. Not yeah. this is actually a running storyline. Yeah, it's it's yeah. not you're not even trying to crack the code of the weather changing warlocks who require a permit. Guys, all these laws were made because of us. Yeah. All right. Santa's the Hokage and that's just kind of the universe we live in. Yeah. yeah, that should have been the first sign that we're like y'all. There's lore. Y'all don't even know that we're not even in the same universe as you. Y'all yeah. have no clue that this is this is so fictional. Do you have this any is, idea this is written by how one much person. it costs to transmit our data into your universe? Honestly, like oh my it god, it costs nothing because this is a moneyless society we live in. We talk about we we trade gloofnuffs and schlorflins for that it's, data. What? Sorry, I had to say something in my language, which is reverse English. Exactly as Sam said. Serve with the flat yet. Come on, this flat yet. Y'all really think all these laws are in your universe? That that's so stupid. We just so happen to also have Connecticut's and Idaho's. <laughs> it's just a coincidence. It's and a Reddit. very, very close proximity to yours. Yeah. There are a lot of parallels, but it's not all the same. Yeah. We're going like j- we're going parallel to each other, but every so often there's just a little bump in our line. Like like the nut thing we were talking about that we were joking about is actually real. Yeah, we have universe. to deal with that. We have to I deal have with that on a daily on basis. on many occasions by the the uh N- NDD. Yeah. The NDD, the 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 national don't 
do it <laughs> association. <laughs> right, we just talked about it. It's the nut denial dominatrix. That's what it was. I like the national don't do it association, though. <laughs> but it's just NDD. The national don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. NDDIA. Jesus. Um, I... The only time I would ever try to modify the weather is if I was in the Colorado mountains and it was snowing. I would just get it to stop doing that because those mountains are treacherous enough. Like driving up those and there's like no guardrails. And well, if you, you fall, know, you are dead. Yeah, because you drive like next to cliffs the entire time on those well, mountains. Well, you know Santa Claus has the ultimate weather change permit because as he, he, he being the Hokage, does a, adhere to all the rules, but he can break them at his will. But he wants that like official piece of paper, so he got it. Yeah. And his overrules everyone else's so say he wants to change the weather in a way that someone else doesn't he outranks them he has first priority that's why in so many christmas movies they're like is it gonna be a snowy christmas and then the kid wishes for it and then it happens yep mm -hmm. you know? except for in when i do it and it never snows in christmas that's because you don't have a permit you're right you're right yeah these you kids have permits <laughs> the, the these little kids, kids they have fantasy Kermits. Kermits. They call them Kermits. <laughs> they're permits, but they're, it's just spelled differently. Oh, okay. I see. It has nothing to do with it. And them. they're all shaped like Kermit the Frog. Well, Except, yeah, okay. that's the one thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're all shaped like Kermit the Frog, and like the actual like text of it is tattooed onto Cat Kermit's stomach. Yeah. Kids have to... sewn onto his stomach. And also, Kermit is alive. Yeah, Kermit's alive. He undertake every they we have a mass kermit cloning facility in our universe yeah and uh it's just he's constantly un, under these like circumstances where the original kermit is locked in a vault because well to contain I mean, his to power his, yeah, because to contain his power and keep the source material fresh yeah he used to be our dictator uh, and then we sealed his power and we locked him in the safe and we send the defective not alive Kermits to y'all's universe uh, yeah. just as a sign of goodwill <laughs> just keep relations you know tidy but remember that prophecy is coming up fast here in the next <laughs> yeah. 200 or so years of <laughs> the Kermit Kermit's prophecy is release. coming up fast yeah and uh, we, we our, our dictators return will be foreshadowed by uh, the raining of blood, which may or may not happen should the warlocks with permits decide against it. Exactly. And uh, then on top of that, um, it will be a fight to the death between Kermit and Santa, as only one can prevail. It, it seems weird, y'all, but Kermit is as powerful as Santa in our universe. Kermit... I don't want to say it. Kermit is Santa. No. <sighs> That's, they're two parts that, of the same that hole. That is a theory that was debunked a long time ago. They're two parts of the same hole. It was they, one person who got split into two, are, the good and the evil. There are two right. religions in our universe. <laughs> <laughs> and one is that Kermit is Santa, and one is that Kermit and Santa are two different entities. Yeah, my mind believes that it was one entity that we don't know anything about who split into good and evil, yeah. Santa and Kermit. Yeah. And mine is that, uh, you know how it is. And we just kind of go with it. <laughs> it, no matter, no matter, uh, no matter what you believe, it is very much that these two forces of nature is truly what they are. Um, they have, they're like yin and yang. They're two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. As mm -hmm. we remember, for when Kermit was the dictator, Santa was the one trapped in the vault. Yes, we there's a there's a natural balance that occurs whether as much as we try to unbalance it. Nature just puts it back in, on the scale, you know. One, once the reversal of the magnetic poles happens, we will know who became victorious. Yes. You know what this is? What? What? This is very random. <laughs> just thinking about this story, this is so XD random. <laughs> You're right. Stop that. I guess we're in an Invader Zim kind of mood. I, this uh, is just so lols random. Bad. Hey, yeah. Hey, Cyan. Oh, what? Cyan. What? Nachos. 
<laughs> I hope when Kermit comes back, he takes both of you. Thoughts on is on Gmail, Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, Discord, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Facebook. Thoughts on a lips in Spotify. Also, iTunes? all those things, iTunes, uh, anywhere podcasts are are sold. are heard. <laughs> You can go in the forest and hear it sometimes if you if you are quiet and hear the rustling of the winds. Yeah. If you listen closely to the echoing dryads and the storm changing warlocks, then you will hear our podcast. Yeah. Uh, or the echo the echoes from the Kermit from the Kermits. Send us your dreams, laws, thoughts. We will gladly take them. You, the coupon code for our premium membership is Kermit Day. It will only be available on Kermit Day, the day that Kermit breaks from his safe and comes to dictate over the world again, as the prophecy foretells. Uh, and that's all. Sam, do you have any final words? Um, I pray for the I pray for the the day that Santa defeats Kermit. A beautiful sentiment. Cool. Check out my Twitter. Uh. <laughs> I I I I'm, I do art. You can see it there if you so choose to, and you can also check out that hot topic post and annoy me with blowing up my phone that Twitter will not let me mute notifications on. So, that's the life I'm living. When I signaled you, you I meant. Check out my Twitter where I simply rant about how bad Frontier is. Yeah, yeah. check out check out Sam's Twitter. Uh, check out Brett's Twitter. That's Lesbian Wolf six six six. Brett with three T's, Hanrahan, and uh, Grunkle Sam. Grunkle Sam. With, I don't know about hyphens or underscores, but it's Grunkle Sam, I think. Sign, would you please say that thing you always say at the end of the episode? I haven't been it's saying Grunkle that Sam lately. With an but... underscore between Sa- Grunkle and Sam. I just all right, great. We, we're all, we all plugged our Twitters. So let's please end the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said this in a while, I don't think, but boy, aren't we getting sweaty. You should bring a towel next time you join the Thoughts on a... Otherwise, you'll get sweat on. (laughs) (laughs) All right, great. All right, we'll see you all next week.